forgot to make an intro for this video. We are doing the east end of Rundle hike in Canmore today. We're about a kilometer and a bit in. It's been literally straight up the whole way. The trail was pretty hard to find in the beginning, but it's been pretty straightforward so far. It's been nice. The views are really nice. So I will update you guys in the next clip. end of Rundle Trail. It literally starts here and there's no sign. So it's just off the road. So it just goes up there. We still have a little bit of a ways to go, but the view I can already tell is gonna be amazing. Haling is right behind me. Oh, that's so hard to do. Okay, <laughs> Haling's right there. It's one of the first hikes that I ever did. So yeah, the views are great. <laughs> And the views are really amazing. Like, I, I actually can't wait until we get to the top. <laughs>
actually um, people rock climbing here it's such a beautiful mountain so I definitely want to summit next time I come here okay so if you are hiking east of Rundle make sure you stop at the fall summit because the view is so pretty so yeah make sure you stop here for pictures and um, yeah we're gonna have a little bit of snack take some more pictures and then head back down daytime you guys so we officially went the wrong way coming down we went a super long detour because the trail is pretty hard to follow on the way down so we are almost to the bottom I hope I think we have maybe a kilometer or less but yeah the downhill was just not not fun so I'm just gonna end the vlog here we're almost to the bottom but yeah so we got off trail and it sucked so I'll give you guys a full review of the hike in the next clip. in posting this video and doing this kind of outro so I'm just gonna try to get through this really quickly as quickly as I can it's almost been a month since I've done this hike first things first if you are planning to do the east end of Rundle hike a lot of people struggle with finding the trailhead and I know that it's not just me on this hike particularly because I've seen a lot of posts about it online asking where the trailhead is I showed it to you guys in this video It's literally on the side of the road 
underneath. You just go underneath this like electrical post. <laughs> That's how you get to the trailhead. What did I think about this hike? Okay, this hike, it was steep. I don't think it was hard. If you ask me what hike I found the hardest, it would be like between Heart Mountain and Tower of Babel. I don't know which one. But East End of Rundle, honestly, wasn't that hard for me. It wasn't that difficult for me. My friend hated this hike so much. It's so unfortunate because I do want to do it over again. I did not make it to the summit this time around. We decided to turn back after we took pictures. A lot of people go to this like fall summit and take pictures there because it, I don't know, it seems like it would be the top, right? But you can actually keep going. I think maybe a kilometer or two more. You do a little bit of a scramble and then you get to the very, very top. But a lot of people that take Instagram pictures and stuff stop at the Fall Summit just because it has the best view. You get a view of Hulling in the background and Spray Lakes at the bottom. So it's just, it's really beautiful up there. I really wanted to get to the actual summit. It's unfortunate because I know that we would have made it but my friend's hiking boots were just really, really bothering her. She got the wrong size. So she's dealing with that now, trying to get new hiking boots. But I know that was like our biggest issue was her feet just not being comfortable. And that's one of the worst things when you're going on a hike is if you have uncomfortable shoes, it's not a pleasant experience. And I'm pretty sure that's why she didn't enjoy herself because I feel like I enjoyed myself. It was challenging and I did get a great workout. Don't get me wrong. I, I didn't find it easy by any means, but it's not the hardest hike that I've ever done. And if you have done howling before, it's, I would say it's kind of similar. It's a little bit more steep than howling. Finding our way down, we actually got off trail because we went a different way down than we came up, but you know, that was okay. <laughs> there was a little bit of bushwhacking involved and I mean, we found other people going down the same route as we did. So we weren't the only ones that got off trail. It's a little bit confusing coming down. But other than that, this was a really good hike. I would do it again for sure. And yeah, that's it for my East End of Rundle hike video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and share if you care. I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye everyone. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side.